When Pope Francis issued an apology to Indigenous delegates in Rome, he promised to pay a visit to Canada. The papal visit is now confirmed to take place July 24 to 29 in Quebec City, Edmonton and Iqaluit, a trip that's welcomed by the Canadian government, according to Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations Mark Miller. This is an opportunity for survivors uh, to have a direct connection to the Pope uh, and listen and hear his words and reflect on them. and. Uh, consider whether that offers a measure of closure, which is what a, a number of, of survivors are asking for. But there are mixed feelings from Indigenous leadership across the country. The Métis National Council president says although they are happy the Pope is coming to Canada, they had hoped his trip would have included more communities, including stops in Manitoba, Saskatchewan and BC. Had we uh, some more input into into this, that's absolutely what we would have been sharing. Um, but like we say, from now, with the confirmation that Edmonton, Iqaluit and Quebec City have been chosen, we will do what we can to ensure that our survivors have input into what they want to see, um, our community members have input in what they want to hear and, and, uh, and what they want to see when the Pope comes to Canada. In a statement from National Chief Roseanne Archibald, she says, I'm deeply disappointed but not surprised that the Holy Father has decided not to visit other sites requested by First Nations, including to Kamloops, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. First Nations children made up 90% of students and the majority of children who were abused and died in these institutions of assimilation and genocide were from First Nations communities from every nation across Turtle Island. Inuit Tapirik Kanatami President Natan Obed put out a statement saying they are happy the Pope will be visiting Nunavut. We are pleased to be able to welcome him in Iqaluit in July for a visit centered on truth, justice, healing, reconciliation and hope. The Pope's visit will provide an opportunity for him to listen and to dialogue with Indigenous peoples on this land. Catholic Archbishop Richard Smith of Edmonton says travel is very restricted for Pope Francis, who is over 85 years old. He is now confined to a wheelchair, therefore only chose the three cities. Nevertheless, we shall work with our Indigenous partners to ensure that these encounters with the Holy Father, where they occur, will have a meaningful impact for everybody across this vast expanse of our land. Caron says the Pope's trip should focus on residential school survivors and build upon the apology he delivered to the Indigenous delegation in Rome. I hope that the Pope comes to Canada and delivers a stronger apology to as many survivors who want to be there as possible. I think that is a success indicator, is the number of survivors who get to hear that apology. And, uh, you know, I hope that he takes it one step further uh, at, at the bare minimum and, and apologizes and acknowledges the role of the Catholic Church in, in residential schools as an institution, not just individuals within the institution, but the institution itself. Smith says plans will take shape by the end of June as the Catholic Church continues to work with Indigenous leadership, but says the Pope will certainly visit former residential school sites and other locations of significance during his time in Canada. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Calgary.